This is Twit. We actually have a comparison chart uh, that I hope we can show. Um, uh, I'm not sure, John, if we can. There it is. Uh, from The Verge. And I want to uh, acknowledge that this came from The Verge. Uh, and it shows, if we can zoom in and maybe scroll down, it'll show what uh, the difference is between AirPlay and Chromecast. Uh, I don't know if there's any way to get in a little little tighter than that. Not much. Um, but obviously we have Netflix, we have YouTube, we have um, uh, Hulu Plus, not available on Chromecast. It is on AirPlay. Uh, and it says coming soon Pandora. Yeah, but there, are, but there are at the moment quite a few more sources for AirPlay than there are for Chromecast. But Barb, but you, you made a very, oh, yeah. it is. Oh, yeah, tell I mean, us that. AirPlay, AirPlay is casting, isn't it? I mean, Barb, right? Barb, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's not that's not what I'm that's not why I'm saying it's inaccurate. Um, I just just a few minutes ago was watching HBO Go that from my PC, and I had a Chromecast onto the uh, the um, I had it sent to the Chromecast. Mm. And so this, um, this is an important this is an important point that while the access to device to uh, service providers might be limited on your portable devices, you can get almost anywhere. From a from a laptop or a PC, Barb, isn't isn't that right? Yes, I hear that there's a problem with QuickTime, some QuickTime and Silverlight, but I have not found uh, any of the networks. I haven't found anywhere where I've had any kind of um, limitations and not been able to stream something. Now, there's one kind of weird thing about it. I mean, you're going to want to do it from a laptop because the only way to control it, if you're doing it from your um, computer to the Chromecast is to control it on the device that, that has the Chrome, the Google Chrome open. So you, if you want to pause it or do anything else, you're going to have to do that from your computer, not from a, a smartphone or something else. Mm. Um, Mark, that's your experience as well? Uh, well, I've, I've, we're talking about casting a tap. Yes, uh, you must use a computer. But uh, my personal experience with it has been the same, same as Barb's, that it's been pretty much unlimited. And uh, I was able to set the the casting on my uh, in my Chrome browser to the high quality 720p setting. And what really surprised me was that the 1080p screen from my my computer was was on the was on the was on the TV, and 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 I could read the text. I mean, it wasn't like. The, the kind of fuzzy text that you get when you look at 1080p usually on a, on a 720p screen. So in, in my case, uh, yeah, you do have to be in, in, in the browser to, to, to have that kind of control and, and do that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, otherwise you're restricted to the, you know, the, the, the four uh, service providers that we discussed. Uh, mm -hmm. Leo, Leo has, has uh, speculated that possibly as Chromecast becomes more popular, and it's already pretty wildly popular, uh, that more apps, more content providers will provide a Chromecast button on their on their app. Um, right. Do you imagine this is a a, a, a good possibility? It seems to be Barb? happening right now. I mean, it's been it's been discussed mm -hmm. uh, in, in numerous articles that that it's coming. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, people know that Hulu is going to be chromecasting pretty soon and i would I'm, I'm praying for voodoo uh personally i'd like to see voodoo chrome you know have a chromecast extension uh but but i would think that developers have, have jumped on it because uh there's no way that they didn't notice how quickly it was picked up and adopted uh compared to google's previous efforts